our uh, artificial intelligence recognizes the presence of a, a gun threat via security cameras and what is had been remarkable about many active shooter situations is that uh, the assailants are actually visible in security cameras for seconds and sometimes minutes. There are over 70 million security cameras in the US, but it's been estimated that less than 1% of them are actively monitored. So we've introduced uh, our technology that will do the monitoring of these security cameras, do it 24 hours a day, seven days a week, do it very reliably, never takes a break. So you think about situation in Parkland uh, where the um, active shooter was caught on camera preparing in one of the stairwells. We want to monitor those security cameras so we can use those precious seconds and minutes to set into action an automated uh, response plan, which could involve locking doors, setting off sirens, contacting the police with rich information. What we're seeing is a, we're seeing an uptick in gun and other weapon incidents in use in school. There was a great deal of anxiety and pressure on school administrators to do something do it differently and do it now. The good news is we're much better than we were a decade or two ago in terms of school safety in many ways. And in other ways, we're actually as bad, if not worse off. We've, been, we've seen a lot of emphasis on technology, hardware, security products, and we're focusing less and less on people. Do you have the capability as a layperson, a, an educator, someone not trained as a peace officer to turn around and be ready to shoot the same student that you just tutored and helped out and counseled three hours earlier? Uh, and that's a, a tough call even for your trained commission police officers.